traders. Gary Wagner here just after 12 noon in Honolulu, six o'clock in New York. It is Tuesday, September the 8th, 2020. And this is uh, the daily report for gold and silver. In light of an incredibly strong U.S. dollar and a virtual meltdown in U.S. equities, I think that gold and silver held up very well. In fact, they all closed in positive territory. And that, to me, signal some real strength. In other words, with the markets, U.S. equities melting down, there are really only two safe haven assets right now, and that is the U.S. dollar and gold and silver. We did send out a special trade alert, and we will discuss that in detail when we pull up our technical studies. But first, let's take a look at current pricing. Traders, an extremely interesting day in the market following a three-day holiday weekend, Labor Day, in which we had a virtual meltdown in U.S. equities, incredible dollar strength, and yet gold and silver closed in positive territory. Currently, we are looking at December gold futures, 1938.60 putting it up about $4.30. We did issue a trade alert this morning. We will cover that in detail when we pull up our technical studies. Next to silver, silver gained almost a full half a percent, about 12 cents, and it is currently trading at 26.83 and a half cents. But what is most impressive is the eight tenths of a percent gain in the dollar index, and yet, gold and silver were able to overcome that strength. We have the dollar at 93.52, up 80 points or 0.86% on the day. The big news, of course, was a virtual meltdown. And the meltdown occurred in U.S. equities. We had the NASDAQ composite decline by 465 points today, a tremendous drop. Dow Industrials down about two and a quarter percent, 27,500. And the Standard & Poor's also lost 2.8 percent. One of the largest decliners today was Tesla. Tesla fell out of bed dropping $88 per share after splitting and moving to about $500 a share. It has been trading lower for the last few trading days, now at $330 per share. Lastly, Bitcoin. Bitcoin under pressure, but still holding on to $10,000 at $10,050. It has a low that is right at the 100-day moving average, and that to me is a very critical point it needs to hold. Let's take a look at our technical studies. Traders, we did effectively send out a trade alert this morning on both gold and silver futures and Forex gold. In terms of the entry price itself, we got in roughly at 1946. Market is trading at 1938.60. So it's about $7 against us currently. But here's what I find impressive. One of the primary reasons that I issued the buy signal this morning was the low that came in and how effectively it turned out to be a really strong indication of a level of support. Of course, this green line here is our 50-day moving average. And when we enlarge this chart, as I will right now, what you will see is that the actual low that came into the market pretty much matched precisely with that average right here. And that tells me a couple of things. First of all, the 50-day moving average is our most important indicator for the market technician when we look at current short-term trend. Above the 50-day moving average is considered bullish. Below it is considered short-term bearish. The other thing that you want to look at is whether or not you have the proper order in terms of the moving averages. Here we have the 50-day. The blue is the 100-day, the 200-day. That's in red. So we have the proper order, meaning we have the longest average at the bottom, the shortest average at the top. We also want to see if they're widening or contracting, convergence or divergence. And widening means that they're 
really indicating that it is getting more bullish. And then lastly, we can pull up the MACD, which I have just done. You can see that the market was extremely overbought back at around the middle of August, but now we're going into the territory in which it is becoming oversold. That tells me that this is a proper entry point to look for a gold position from the long side. Traders, my recommendation is to maintain your current long position in gold and to maintain your current stops in both gold futures and gold forex. And traders, we are looking at a daily chart of the most active silver futures contract, which is now December. We can see that it is a small red candle. That means that it closed below the open. However, it gained about 12 cents in trading when compared to the close that occurred last week before the three-day holiday. The thing about this is that we put our stop at 24.73, and the rationale behind placing our stop there was the 23% Fibonacci retracement. That comes in at roughly 25.65. I wanted to maintain our stop below that and also to maintain it below these lows that have come in here. I think that that is a key and critical area. The other thing that you'll notice is there is a distinct difference when we look at the moving averages, because in the case, we do have them moving apart. We can certainly see that. But the other thing is, look at this. We just had the cross come in, in which the 100 day, that's in blue, crossed above the 200 day, and that occurred at the beginning of August. That is also an extremely bullish signal on a technical basis. So based upon those factors, we will begin to discuss our exit strategy. But for right now, my recommendation is to maintain your long position in silver as well as your current stop. We purposely did not include SLV and GLD. They both closed a little bit lower, even though we saw gains in spot gold and gains in spot silver. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.